Hello. Hello. This is Joe. He, he sews my pants together when there's holes. And he went to the Commonwealth Games for Stratton Boxing Club. <laughs> <laughs> you won Aussies convincingly, but got cut and stuff and bruised throughout the fights. Bit bloody. What, did that play in your mind coming into the Commonwealth? To, uh, to like, be honest, a little bit. It just comes with having no gear. Yeah. <clears throat> it was like in my second fight against Bahamas. I had to win that fight to to get a secure bronze medal. Mm. So basically, I just like I was winning the fight easy, and there was no need to engage too much. So yeah, yeah. I just basically just boxed and played it safe. Yeah. While I was winning, worked, so I could uh, go into the next fight. Yeah. Um, injury free. You're well known as. You're well known as. You're well known as. You're well known as. Well known as Big Bad Joe. How? Where did the name come from originally? Um, I think it originally came from in England in a third fight. Mm -hmm. I think Adam Adam Coughlin from my gym made it up. That's a good one, I'm sure. Yeah. And um, everyone just started chanting it when I was fighting in England. It was like a. It was, it was in uh, London, I think. Mm. And it was just. It was basically a bit of a brawl. It was like a, like a good fight. You know? What's in your sights now after the bloody common, Commonwealth? Um, basically. The next Olympics is my main goal. Mm. Maybe after that, I might stick around for the Gold Coast ga uh, Commonwealth Games. Mm. But I'm not too sure. We'll just see see how it pans out. When are you thinking of going pro? When are you thinking about going pro? Um, I haven't really considered it. Like I haven't even thought thought of it overly mm. yet. Like it's it's kind of a distant thought, but I just want. I want to achieve as much as I can in amateurs before I even think about it. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of people would say you're a smart tactical fighter. Do you spend a lot of time studying um, the art yourself, or does it just is it more of a natural occurrence? Uh, I think I think a little bit of both. I think before before kind of th this Australian titles and this year, yeah, I didn't really study boxing at all like, like it kind of came natural mm. but this year I've like uh, I've concentrated on it more and more mm. and I realised you have to you know you have to learn from the best you have to look at boxing and look at the best people in the sport you watch your pros and that yeah mm. just implement what they do into who you like watching the most um Mayweather Andre Ward Hopkins I like smart fighters and the savvy fighters that use every <coughs> Every little bit of an advantage mm -hmm. to go their way. What's your middle name? Lee. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that question. <laughs> Do you feel more um, happy with the silver or disappointed that you didn't make the gold in the overall general like, since then? It's a good question. Oh, since then? Like just <clears throat> net, like just overall. Initially, I was I was really disappointed over the gold. Like I had gold in my mind. Like yeah. I thought it was, like, it just felt scripted I was going to win, like yeah. I had that type of feeling. Yeah, yeah. But, um, like I knew at the time I was going to be happier later as well, but now I feel like I had a good tournament and I'm like really happy with the silver medal. Yeah. Like I did my best. You didn't have to put that shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit of a tennis fan, I hear. How do you spend your time outside of training? You're a bit of a tennis fan, how do you spend your time outside of training? You're a bit of a tennis fan. How do you spend your time outside of training? Oh, okay. That's something. I'm not a massive tennis fan. Damn it. I heard you uh, are a tennis fan to some degree. But how do you spend your time outside of training? Um, like, I'm a sporty person, so basically, like, I've tried all sports. I've tried, I played tennis for club, I've played cricket for representative level, I've played FL for uh, representative level as well, I've played cricket for state level. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. Table tennis. Uh, table tennis? You play table tennis? Yeah, for club, yeah. Really? Yeah, so I've, I've tried pretty much everything, but... Um, oh, that's cool. Did you know that? Like that, yeah. yeah. Which, who's that? Is this your guy? Yeah. Oh. We've got um, we've got some Facebook questions here. And uh, just I put up a poll and so, saw if anyone wanted to ask any questions. M. Jones asks, 
would you like a rematch with Joe Joyce at some point? The guy who lost to win the gold medal match. Yeah, like uh, I would definitely like in the future when I get a like a, a bit stronger and a bit more experience under my belt, I can like I do have a shot to beat him. Carly M asks, "What is your favorite meal?" Uh, I like a gourmet pizza, a good gourmet pizza. That's a good answer. I like gnocchi. And and palm shot and chicken. Just if you want to know something about me, you know? No. Mm. How do you like to spend days. your rest days? You I, know? Don't, <clears throat> I don't like too many rest days during the week. Maybe like one. Yeah. I like to like, keep training like, mm. daily. But uh, on a rest day, uh, probably like a poker tournament and just chilling out. Mm. Something, yeah. um, That's a good one. Not strenuous, something lazy. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, thanks for doing that interview. I appreciate it, bro. No problem. And uh, I'll see you at training the beat the shit out of me. It's good. Ramanfg.com. <laughs>